Hey guys, what is up Black Gold here and today we're going to be doing another video and today we're going to be doing my first ever cooking video in five years. Yep, that's right. But for this recipe, since we're in quarantine right now, I'm not going to make it homemade. In fact, I just want to speed up the process because I'm at a friend's house right now. This is just a recipe for kids who are 10 and below who want to make these brownies for Betty Crocker because Betty Crocker is amazing. So I will show you the rundown on the ingredients. All right, guys. So first you need this. You guys already know what this is. Two eggs, three tablespoons of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and you need some tidying back here. You need some spray butter to spray your 13 by nine pan or whatever pan you want. Don't worry about it. So put all this in. First, you need a half a cup of vegetable oil. Then you're gonna need three tablespoons of water. Next, you're gonna need two eggs. Oh, don't do that. Also, guys, just to clarify, please wash your hands or else. Then what you're gonna do is mix this well. Make sure you break all the egg yolks. All right, guys, so after you got that done, set this to the side for now. Get a 13 by nine pan or use whatever pan you want. And uh, you can use butter, you can use uh, pan, but I prefer butter because it sticks a lot better. So I have the spray butter, or my friend has the spray butter. So just spray as much butter as you want. Then what you're gonna do, this is the fun part, all right? Pour, some, pour all your mixture in here. Oh my God, I think it's funny. All right guys, so I poured all the mixture in. It doesn't look that much, but it's okay. But um, if you don't get that much, just make sure it's evenly out. Just make sure it's all spread out like this. Just jiggle it. So once you get that done, make sure you Preheat your oven to 350 degrees and put these in for 24 to 26 minutes. And I'll be back once they come out. Here, here it is. Whew. Here's what I did for the future reference if you guys ever make brownies or cake or whatever. Make sure you like stick a fork in at least the center part to make sure it's fresh. And if nothing sticks to it, it's done. So for brownies, you have to let them out and the inside's supposed to be really gooey, so it's supposed to be really runny, which is why you have to cool it down at least 15 to 30 minutes for it to cool so it can like cook more on the inside because all the moisture. So far it looks pretty good. I was really worried about making box brownies for some reason, but you know what? It's supposed to not look perfect. <laughs> I'll be right back once this cools. All right, guys, um, so we got both my friends here, and they're both going to try it out. Oh, my. Good. They're warm. They're actually a little gooey. There we go. Give one out. I'm not going to try one. The batter? But... <clears throat> oh, it looks like it completely rose, which is why it's a little gooey. Yeah, because it's still warm. It's good, though. Yeah, I like a little gooey, too, so. Yeah. That's how brownies are originally going to be. Good. good. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this weird video. I know it's kind of weird since, you know, we're inside and you can't really do a lot. So this is something fun to do if you want to do it at home with your kids. Um, I'd highly recommend it. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. And may the force be with you. Peace out, homies.